Hi everyone, my name is Chris Hoffmann and today we are breaking down Paramore's hit single Still Into You. This video accompanies the recreating iconic drum sound video, so make sure to watch that video at the end of the lesson to find out about the choice of drums, tuning and miking techniques to achieve Paramore's drum sound. And in today's lesson I want to practice with you part by part what drummer Elan Rubin played on the Still Into You recording. So let's have a listen to the chorus first so you know which song I'm talking about. So if this song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know. This is such a good song, great songwriting and production and what a drum performance by Elon Rubin. And if you're interested in the entire transcription, there's a link for you in the description box. And now let's start the actual drum lesson for today by listening to the first verse and try to pay your attention to the variations that make up this four bar drum groove. So bar one is our regular groove, bar two has an open height on the end of beat four, bar three has an open height on beat four and in bar four there, there's no open height but a bass drum on the end of beat four to close the cycle. So let's practice this four bar phrase along with the notation at a medium tempo and I will play a crash for you every four bars and then things will become clear. And now let's practice it at the original tempo along with the song. The following pre-chorus has no drums. We come in in bar four with this iconic and powerful fill that leads right into the chorus. It's a combination of eighth and sixteenth notes starting on the end of beat one. So let's practice this as a two bar loop first. And now let's practice it at the original tempo and we add two bars of the chorus groove to practice the transition between these two parts. The chorus itself can be divided into an A melody and B melody and to create contrast between these two parts Elan Rubin plays the A mellow on the hi-hat and the B mellow on the crash. So let me play the entire chorus for you including two fills, 
that appear in the A mellow section. Those fills also combine 8th and 16th notes played hand to hand. The following interlude has the verse groove. In bar 4, we have a linear syncopated fill between snare drum and rectum, along with some hand and foot combinations. So let's practice this separately first. And now here's the entire interlude up to speed with a fill in bar 4. The following pre-chorus builds with a 4 on the floor bass drum. The fill is the same as in the first pre-chorus wheel, so we're gonna skip that part as well as the second chorus and we're gonna focus on the bridge. Let's have a listen first. So we have an offbeat hired groove and Elan Rubin has a very cool way of playing it live using a tambourine. So we also have a clip of that that I want to show you. So now let's practice the hands separately between hired snare drum and tambourine. And now let's add the four on the floor bass drum and up to speed. It sounds like this. In the second part of the bridge, Elan Rubin plays a two bar phrase incorporating the toms while keeping the backbeat on two and four. Live on stage and on videos, you see Elan play open-handed and personally I'm much more comfortable playing the hi-hat with my right hand and I switch to open-handed playing when the fills call for it. So for this following demonstration you see a mixture of cross-handed and open-handed playing and this is how it sounds at a slow tempo. And now let's try it at the original tempo again with the music. We 
We are almost at the end. Two sections remain, a down chorus with four on the floor and a full chorus at a high intensity level, bringing the song home. The build up though and the fill into the final chorus are pretty cool and worth practicing. So let's have a listen. Butterflies. Yeah, so I think that fill is really kicking and I hear it as groupings of six, four, six in sixteenth notes. So we can count one e and two e and three and four e and a one, two, three, four. One e and two e and three and four e and a one, two, three. Or up to speed at the original tempo of the song. I should be over on the butter. Not on the butter, but the butterflies, you know. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So let's practice this fill at a moderate and slow tempo first, along with the click. So here we go. And after we feel comfortable, we add a one bar build up in front of the fill and practice the transition into the final chorus. The final chorus has a turnaround at the end, the lyrics are repeated three times and the groove changes to a four on the snare groove for the last two bars for a high intensity ending. So let me play for you the last segment of the final chorus towards the end. So that was it, and if you made it to the end of the lesson, huge congrats, and thank you also. It was quite a bit, but I hope you had as much fun as I did. And let me know your favorite part of the lesson in the comments, and I hope it inspires you to pick up your drumsticks and play along to your favorite songs. And if you want to practice the song yourself, individual parts, or that fill into the final chorus, click the link in the description box and get your transcription of the song. And if you record yourself practicing or filming a drum cover, please tag me in it so I don't miss it. I look forward to seeing you play. Keep your suggestions coming, which songs we should break down for you, and then I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care everyone and bye bye.